Hi, Naturals. This is Allie from um, Natural Hair Community, and I am doing a requested video of what's in my pantry. So, um, all of the roots and herbs and Ayurvedic powders that I use um, are good for, for natural healing. Um, and um, a lot of these herbs you have, you might even have in your pantry, like rosemary, basil, and thyme. The, they all work. Now, what I do um, with my roots, because they are in the, um, some of them are in the, um, in the leafy form. And this is um, calendula, calendula depending on where you're from. <laughs> All right. So you can, I, and I'm going to hold up each one of them as, as I talk about them, but these roots have, um, they have multiple uses. So I use them for multiple things. I use them, um, in bath teas, hair teas. I will also use my spice grinder, that I got from um, from Bed Bath and Beyond for like twenty dollars, and I will um, I'll grind them into a fine powder, and I will add them to my conditioner, um, and I'll deep condition my hair with them. Um, I also will make tea baths, herbal tea baths that you know, like if I'm kind of sore or if I'm anxious or um, or just want a relaxing spa day at home, I can do, instead of going to the spa, because I'm a poor college student, um, I can just do these things at home. So let's get started first. So I'm going to read to you um, just what these different herbs will do, and I'll show you them um, as we go along. Now, um, for dry hair, Herbs that are good for that would be rosemary, burdock, calendula, chamomile, comfrey root, um, comfrey leaf, leaf and root, horsetail, lavender, nettles, cold foot, um, cold foot, and um, rosemary, chamomile as well. So let me show you um, what um, what calendula looks like in the dry form which I, I held up for you earlier so this is the calendula and it's also known as a marigold flower so if you have marigolds in your um in your garden you can use these um for dry hair now how to use them what you can do is what i like to do is i have an old coffee pot and I will put about 12 cups of water in the reservoir. And then um, in a filter, I will take some of these herbs. And depending on what I want to use it for in, um, in my hair routine, I will, you know, mix up these herbs. And then I'll, I'll brew it just like coffee. And um, my coffee pot is on a two-hour timer. So after two hours... It goes off and then I let it steep for another hour and then I will pour in um, pour in my oils and and go from there so I showed you calendula calendula this is nettles nettles is a greenish color and it looks like it almost looks like um maybe like a parsley, a dried parsley. Again, great for dry hair. Um, and nettles is also great for dull hair as well. Um, and you can use that for a sensitive scalp. It's very um, soothing to a sensitive scalp. Um, and even if for normal hair, you can use it. And, um, and let me just go back, let me hold on for a second now. When I say that I use it in a tea rinse, in a herbal tea rinse, after I've made um, made the um, the tea and I let it cool, what I will do is on wash day I will use the tea as a final rinse. By um, one, I will pour it over my head, and then I have a bowl to catch 
the um, the water, the tea rinse that comes off of my hair, and I um, I will massage it into my scalp, and I'll massage my hair, and then um, after that first rinse, I'll take what I what ran off into the bowl, I'll take it and pour it over my head again, massaging again the scalp, getting the circulation going and allowing the healing properties of these roots and herbs take effect in my hair. And if you've been with me for a while, noticing that um, I'm too, uh, my hair is really growing, um, I am about, um, December will be my two-year um, natural anniversary, and I have seen significant growth. Um, since I have incorporated using these herbs into my um, hair care routine. Now, again, you don't have to use all of them. Some of the, just start off with something very simple, like, like I said, for the tea rinse. Even if you don't have a coffee pot, if you put water on the stove, let it come to a boil, and then once it's boiling, remove it from the stove, re remove it from the heat. Drop in a, t a tablespoon of your roots, cover it, and let it sit for 45 minutes. Once you've done that, um, get something to strain and catch the herbs from there, and um, and then use it um, for your hair routine. These will keep into in your refrigerator for up to a month. Okay, so back to the video for again for dry hair. I love love ro uh, lavender. So here's my lavender. These are the lavender buds. Okay. And again, smells wonderful. I love lavender. Okay. So there we go with the lavender. And again, you can use lavender for dry hair. You can use it um, for a sensitive scalp. You can also, um, um, again, incorporate these into a tea rinse. Now, um, I showed you the rosemary. This is burdock root, and they almost look like oats. Okay? Um, burdock gives you a great slip when you're using it as a conditioner. So, again, um, if you have a spice grinder or even the old pestle and mortar set, you know, um, you can grind them down, add it to your, um, add it to your conditioner when you do a pre-poo or if you want to do a deep conditioner, you can do it that way. Make sure you grind them very, very finely because if you leave them in the whole section one, they'll clog up your drain. And um, you might not get them all out of your hair, but if you, at least if it's ground into a fine, fine powder, you can stir it into your, um, into your conditioner and use it that way. Okay. So um, this is hyssop. H y s s o p. Okay, hyssop. And again, you can use this um, also for an irritated scalp. Um, uh, that's great for the um, for an irritated scalp, along with the comfrey that I showed you earlier. Let me let me pull that out. Comfrey root. Okay, you can use that for irritated scalp, um, itchy dandruff, things like that, of that nature. Um, if you have eczema, you can use it as well for that. Um, over here, I have um, I have colt's foot. Okay, and um, colt's foot is also good for dry hair. It almost looks like a dried moss in a sense. Okay, so um, so we have the Colt's foot there. Uh, let's see. I have hibiscus flowers in the dry form, and I also have it in a powder form that I got from Henna Sook. Okay. 
and it's reddish looks like a red um looks like um a red clay in a sense okay so um Hibiscus conditions the hair, promotes healthy hair growth, and prevents hair loss, and it also thickens your hair as well. So that's that. Um, I also have um, lemongrass here. Lemongrass is also great for, um, for conditioning your hair. It thickens. And... Um, it doesn't smell like lemon, but there is a sweet aroma to it. So this is lemongrass. Now, if you notice that on my jars, I have the names of each and every one of them. Um, so one, I know what I'm um, I'm using, but two, it just it because I keep them in my pantry. It also makes it easier when I want to mix up a tea. Well, I can grab I can grab lemongrass. I can grab some nettle. I can steep them. Um, if I want to do a conditioning paste, I can go ahead and grind them up in my coffee filter. Excuse me, in my coffee grinder, and incorporate them into um, into my hair care routine. So one more time, let me read you these herbs and what they're good for. So for dry hair, rosemary, burdock, calendula, chamomile, and let me show you my chamomile here. Okay. All right, so that's chamomile. And um, comfrey leaf. Uh, elderflower, horsetail, uh, iris moss, lavender, nettle, colt's foot, white pine, green tea, ginseng, chamomile, peppermint, rose, um, rosemary, rosewood, clary sage, sandalwood, and thyme. Now, for hair loss, you can use these herbs. Burdock, nettle, parsley, rosemary, sage, um, kelp, it strengthens at the root. <coughs> Excuse me. Horsetail, hibiscus, fenugreek, lavender, birch, and colt's foot. Um, for dull hair, basil, burdock, calendula, horsetail, marshmallow, mullen, nettle, parsley, rosemary, sage, and fenugreek. So again, do you see the running thing that I have here? Most of it, most of these herbs will serve dual purposes. If you have a sensitive scalp, um, burdock, calendula, chamomile, horsetail, nettle, hyssop, and lavender. Irritated scalp, again, um, calendula, chamomile, comfrey, hyssop, ginkgo, and fenugreek. If your hair is normal, you're not experiencing any dry hair, but you just want um, just want the healthy healing stimulants of these herbs, um, This uh, these will um, work for that as well. Chamomile, lavender, rosemary, horsetail, colt's foot, nettle, lemon peel, green tea, ginseng, burdock, orange peel, and pep peppermint. Now, getting into my Ayurvedic powders, okay? Let's take the, these, some of these here. Let me just move these out the way. Okay, so I have, um, I have amla powder here. Amla is a, it looks like a sandy color, and this is the dry form. It's sandy, so when I'm ready to use it, what I'll do is, again, I drop it into my grinder. Okay, so Amla strengthens, um, stimulates hair growth. It has wonderful conditioning properties, um, strengthens hair at the root. Now, what you can do also do with Amla is if you use henna, sometimes henna will loosen your curl pattern. So if you add maybe like a teaspoon or two of the um, of the Amla 
to your um, to your henna, it will tighten the curl up there. Okay. This is Brahmi powder. Brahmi powder, it, it it's very earthy looking. There we go. Very earthy looking. Looks like looks like dirt almost. Um and again, Brahmi will strengthen hair at the roots. It helps to relieve dandruff and also report it to thicken your hair. So, um, so there we go with the Brahmi powder. The next powder that I have is I am um, protein sensitive. So I try to color my hair one time with, um, with henna. But it left my henna does not contain protein, but it does mimic protein. And by mimicking protein, what it does, it makes your hair feel dry if you're protein sensitive. Makes your hair feel dry, straw, and coarse like. And after um, trying to put the the um, the henna color into my hair, it took about almost two months for the softness to return to my hair. My body produces enough protein and I ingest enough in my diet where I don't need to incorporate it into my hair routine. However, um, um, cassia is very light and it does the same type of conditioning and strengthening that Brahmi, excuse me, that henna will do. And, um, Cassia looks, it's called the neutral henna, and it has the color of a lima bean. So this is what Cassia looks like. Now these dry powders, again, I'll incorporate them into my conditioner, and I'll do a deep conditioning with these. This is Bering Raj powder, and it looks um, almost the same as Brahmi powder, but... Um, Bering Raj treats um, treats hair loss, premature graying, and also acts as a conditioner. Now with Amla, you can use that in your shea butters as well. Um, all of these things you can use in your shea butters if you grind them or have them in powder form. You can incorporate different strengthening products into your shea butter and I do that as well okay so that's what I have in terms of um, of herbs roots and powders that I use on my hair now let me get the um, next items just bear with me for a second and um, and I'll be right back here. Um, these are my essential oils and I incorporate these essential oils um, into my hair teas. I incorporate them into my shea butters as well. Um, now, you always, always want to dilute an essential oil with, um, with a carrier oil. And a carrier oil is um, coconut oil, grapeseed, avocado, um, um, sweet almond, anything like that. Um, castor oil is a carrier oil. So incorporate five to eight drops if you're doing it, you know, like your nightly scalp massage. If you're working it into, um, into one of these powders or the, one of these mixtures that I was talking about, 10 to 20 drops of a particular essential oil will work as well. So I have lavender here. This is eucalyptus. And every time I use this, I always think of my mother rubbing Vicks ass on my chest because it, it reminds me that's what Vicks ass was. It was made out of eucalyptus. Caraway oil. This smells like spearmint gum. And I believe car caraway and the lavender are gentle enough to use um, alone. However, um, on your skin alone, but I would still mix it with um, with a carrier oil but before um, trying to use it on my skin directly. 
peppermint oil, which is a great stimula um, stimulating oil, and rosemary oil. Turn it around. Rosemary. So those are my essential oils. Okay. Do I, um, and then my other oils I have, because we're doing the castor oil challenge, this has been the only oil that I have used, carrier oil that I have used for the past three months. And again, I have gotten phenomenal growth with castor oil. I even will mix this with, um, um, like, let's say if I do a half a cup of conditioner, I'll do a half of, excuse me, a quarter cup of castor oil. I'll heat it in my microwave for 30 seconds and then pour it into and stir into my conditioner. And uh, I'll let it cool first and then um, pour it into my conditioner. And then um, I will pre-poo with my, um, with this conditioner, with the castor oil um, conditioner mix. I will also um, detangle. And I did that the other day and look how much body I have in my hair. Okay. So um, now, do I buy products? Yes, I do. But the products that I buy always, always incorporate some type of these healing herbs into, um, into their ingredients. So let me start first with the conditioners. Let me get those for you. Okay, so this is my rinse out conditioner. Um, and this is Darcy's Botanicals Pumpkin Seed Conditioner. This is a, I believe it's a, it's a 16 ounce bottle. This was $20. It's very pricey. However, this is really, um, I, because I'm using an all natural, um, all natural, um, regimen. I like this. Giovanni was working for me. I did use that before, but this is my go-to. They also have it. Um, I bought this from Sage Nat Naturals, Nauticals, or something like that. And this was, this was $20. But if you go to the Darcy's Botanical website, um, they have a eight ounce bottle for $12. And this is what I use to, um, I will co-wash or I'll do a pre-pool with this. And I mix this with the, um, with the castor oil and I got fantastic results from it. Um, I have been using um, Honey Child Hair Love for the past maybe, maybe three, four, three, four weeks now. And um, I am in love with this stuff. Um, my hair is, I use this as my leave-in. I will use it as a moisturizer when I do a dry twist out. This is a dry twist out. So um, I will put um, about maybe two good handfuls in my hair and I work it from front to back. When I go to detangle after washing my hair, it's a breeze. It is a breeze. I love it. I love it. Um, and the ingredients in here are the marshmallow, nettle, leaf, burdock root, German chamomile. Um, um, and it has raw honey, aloe vera gel, and some other things in it. But again, if you heard, if you listen to what I, um, I did, um, you know, like in the um, roots and stuff that I have, it's incorporated into this. So there you go. Now, um, as far as my butters, um, let me get one more. Oh, a couple of more conditioners. Hold on just a second. All right. So um, another leave-in um, that I've been using is um, has been the Darcy's Botanical, and this is the Cocoa Bean leave-in. This is also a moisturizer. You can do your twists and braids with this as well. Since I've been using the um, the um, Darcy, excuse me, the um, Honey Child Hair Love um, Leave-In Nectar, um, this is kind of like gone on the sideline when I run out of the um, the Honey Child Hair Love. I will pull. I'll use this 
to um, for my leave in or even a dry twist out if I want to do that. Deep conditioner. Love, 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 love. Lace. Ladies always create excitement. This is the um, Brahmi Root Hair Mask. And this is a Ayurvedic deep treatment. So you want to use this on freshly washed hair. You can use this with steam or you can use it alone. You just cover your hair for 45 minutes to an hour and let it let it do its thing. It's a souffle like type of product. Love it. It smells so citrus citrusy. Oh, it I really love it. My hair has always and I deep condition like twice a month. So my hair has always been very nice and soft after after using it. I love it. And um, if you um, if you have um, been using lace, you notice that she's changed her labels. And um, but same product, um, just she's just changed her labels around. So again, this is lace. Ladies always create excitement, and this is the Brahmi root hair mask. Okay, now let me get to the butters that I have. Um, and you all have heard me talk about um, about my signature, um, my signature, well, my holy grail item. So let me get those as well. Okay. All right. So first up, let's talk about um, let's talk about CC's Naturals. Um, and, um, I have been using the, um, the, this is the hibiscus, um, and flaxseed hair gel. So I've been using this too as a moisturizer. And, um, when I want a little extra hold, when I wear high puff, um, I will apply this to, um, to damp, slightly damp hair. I have used it on dry hair also. Um, and it gives me great hold. Again, it has rosemary in it. It has, um, hibiscus in it. So again, all products that I incorporate into my hair routine. So here, this is what it looks like. Almost like, um, a chocolatey pudding. Okay. All right. The next thing here is the hibiscus, um, whipped butter. You can use this on your hair. So again, this has amla, this has hibiscus, it also has rosemary in it. Been using it on my skin as well. Um, so I will use this to lock and seal in my moisture. Okay. Um, the next thing, texture me natural. This is my sister from Memphis. Love her. Love her products. And I did really, really, um, I, the Ant Cookies Moisturizing Cream, oh, love it. It's, this is lavender, excuse me, um, I believe this is, this is lemon coconut, lemon coconut, okay. This is a custard, custard type, love it, love it, um, I can use this on a dry twist out, and as a matter of fact, this is what I use for my dry twist out, um, I believe a few days ago. So, see? And that's the only thing, and I did it again on dry hair. Okay, so there you go. Texture me natural. Um, and if you have, um, if you're on Facebook, maybe you're, um, maybe you're on her fan page. Her hair is gorgeous. She has introduced a product line. Um, and, um, the healing hair butter. Again, this has some, this is, this is, um, lemon coconut as well. Lemon hair butter. And, oh, this is a whipped. Wow. Okay. Before it was, it was more or less like um, it had the shea butter. It was more, you could feel, it wasn't as whipped. 
and I just got this one and I haven't, I actually, I had not opened it up, but this is whipped. Oh my God. Love it. Love it. So, um, and I believe now this one is the regular shea butter. No, this is, oh, okay. Yeah, this is, this is the shea butter, non-shea butter whip, um, shea butter mixture as opposed to the whipped. So this seems like it's more whipped. Can you see the difference there? Let's see if I put them side by side. I don't know. Okay, so whipped, no, yeah, whipped, and like more like a melted type of shea butter right here. Oh my gosh, okay. Why do I have more than more than one product? You know, like why do I have more of the um, shea butters and stuff? Well, one, as I said, I'm a college student, and if if something works for me, I would rather go ahead and buy it and I'll buy I'll buy a few of them because you know I I don't I'm a full-time student and I don't work so when I do have the extra money I will go ahead and load up on on the products that really work for me. Now let me let me get two more things here. TLC Naturals um decadent chocolate shea butter. Love Again, chocolate, when you walk past somebody, it's not overwhelming, but when you walk past somebody, they're like, is she wearing chocolate? You know, like, where's that, where's that smell coming from? So, um, this is a whipped, whipped butter as well. Um, and I believe that you can use this on your skin. I don't know why, why you could not. Um, and I have, um, as a matter of fact, so it says that you can apply to your hair and scalp to seal in the moisture, smooth down your edges, nourish and condition your hair, your tresses and style your hair into braids, twists and or any other hairstyle that you use. So this is TLC London. Um, and, um, You've heard me talk about some of her products before. Now, um, I, and it's no through no fault of her own because she's UK based. It's in pounds, and our dollar is a little weaker than um, than the euro. So if you have, you know, if this is something, if you want to splurge and and get something, it's maybe about with the shipping and and. Um, and the conversion rate, you might pay about ten, ten dollars more than um, than you would if you, you know, perhaps if you bought if you're buying um, um, products from um, here in the states. But is it well? Is it worth it? Yes, it is. It's well worth it. I love all of Paige's. Sorry, I love all of Paige's um, product lines. I have used the um, hibiscus grapeseed leave-in. I've used the grow it cream. I've used the um, the shea baobab jojoba oil, which is my absolute favorite. The, it smells so good. I had some of that and um, I used it all, but I absolutely, absolutely love TLC, um, TLC London. Um, TLC Naturals is based out of London. And she also has a Facebook page now. Um, and and you know how I talk about my Whipfinity. This is the bomb diggity. Okay, so get you some. You better ask somebody. This is the bomb diggity. Um, you can use it on your skin. You can use it on your hair. You can use it. Um, you know, when you um, when you're doing a dry twist out, you can even moisturize with this. Um, and I had told Stephanie, I, I, Stephanie, I said, well, you know what? I have so much in my um, in my pantry. This is a lavender, by the way. You know, I love lavender. All natural ingredients. It has argan, um, argan oil. It has rose water in it. And I love it. Now, using rose water by itself, it has dried my hair out. However, when I use it with Whipfinity, not a problem. Not a problem. It's smooth. It's so light. 
when you um, when you use it, it just melts into your hands and into your hair. I love it. This these products that I that I have purchased are my holy grail items. Um, as you know, I just said it. I'm a college student. And if I don't have time um, to make up my own treatment. I will I go to these products. The I use nothing else but this. Once you find a routine, once you find your staple products, stick with them. Don't keep jumping around trying everything else. These products have helped to grow my hair. They keep it moisturized. Um, my hair is nourished. And um and actually these ladies that I mentioned that I buy these products from are my go-to gurus. If I have questions about different things, I will ask them first. If I can't find the answer by doing the research myself, I'll um, I'll ask them. Now, another thing, um, I will list a link to where you can buy all of these products at. Um, here, I get this is what I get these herbs in. Okay, so I go, there's a place here um, where I live at, it's called Island Salvation. And I can, and they buy you, they sell these in ounces. So, um, and three ounces of chamomile was $3. I think the most, um, the, um, the most expensive item might have been the lavender, but it wasn't over, it wasn't over four dollars, but as you can see, I have this jar is a pint sized jar, so a hundred grams will fill up half two this is two hundred grams, and I still had some left over, so all of this stuff will last me forever. I can keep it in a cool, dark spot. I use them for teas. Hair rinses, I use them also too. Um, if you're into nice long soaks in your tub, you can put calendula, you can put rosemary, you can put hibiscus, you can put lavender um, into a, a muslin bag, um, green tea, chamomile, all of these things and, and with, some, um, with some bath salts. And, um, <coughs> excuse me. Put them into your, um, put them in a muslin bag, throw it into your bath water, <coughs> excuse me, throw it into your bath water and let it, and let it infuse your water. The healing properties are wonderful. I suffer from insomnia. So almost every night I'm taking a lavender, calendula, um, calendula bath, um, rose, uh, or rose tea bath and, um, and I have some bath salts and I put it in there um, and then I'll drop it in the muslin bag. And then um, as I'm sitting there in the in the bathtub, um, I will squeeze the bag and the again, it's infusing. So it's very calming. All everything that I use, um, the, everything I have, I use. I use it all the time and it's natural, organic. Um, and you know, my hair speaks for itself. It's been it's been really really growing, um, and I just I decided that you know um, I'll be 48 in a couple of weeks, and I just decided that I wanted to take better care of my body. I am an RN. I know the importance of using of taking medications. However, um, if I can do it naturally, I would prefer to go the natural route. Um, honey and cinnamon is another great, um, another great remedy that I use all the time. If I have heartburn, instead of um, chewing on the tums, I'll drink um, a, a glass, an eight ounce glass of warm water mixed with um, three tablespoons of honey and um, like a teaspoon of brown sugar. Mix that together, drink it down, heartburn is gone. So, you know, we're living longer. Let's take care of our bodies better. Let's take care of our hair. If you, if you take care of your body on the inside 
it comes out on the outside. So, you know, um, if you have any questions, again, I will post links to where you can buy some of these herbs locally. Um, you can buy some of them from Mountain Rose Herbs, Henna Sook. Um, if you're in the New Orleans area, um, it's called, and Island Salvation does, they do have an online service and they will, they will ship to you very reasonably priced and I will um, list that as well. To all of these handmade products that I told you about, Texture Me Natural, CC's Natural, um, Darcy's Botanical, Honey Child Hair Love, um, um, TLC Naturals, who am I forgetting, and Whitfinity. I will post all of these at the end of this, but I thank you for your time. Please, if you have any questions, feel free to post them on, uh, you know, reply to this. Let me hear from you if this was helpful to you. Um, and again, thank you for your time and happy Sunday to you. Have a good evening.